night. We science. Tonight we're going to cover step one of creating your own personal clone. You're going to need a popsicle stick, some water that's had some baking soda, a little pinch, and a little pinch of salt added for flavor, dish soap with sodium lauryl sulfate in it, and rubbing alcohol. I've got some contamination going on in that test too. I'd hate to create a mutant. 91% or higher rubbing alcohol. The test tube is not entirely necessary, however, because I lack credentials and am not a doctor, I'm a scientist, we're going to put it in a test tube. The popsicle stick is the most important device of all, by which one swabs the inside of the cheek to gather some cells. And go ahead and mix that up right in there. And since I enjoy vulgarity, We're going to spit in it as well. One must remember never to eat science unless you're cooking. We give that a good mix and make sure that is nice and evenly distributed within your buffered solution. Now Add the dish soap. Not much. Maybe two, three drops or so. Not much. And we mix. Place the cap back on your scientific containing vessel. And we mix slowly so as not to foam the soap. Now, I cannot guarantee that this is the right kind of dish soap because it didn't have ingredients. If it did, oh, my science, my science is leaking on the table. And apparently I'm too mighty remove my own cap. Now DNA is what we in the science world like to call hydrophobic. So we add a layer of the alcohol on top of the water, slowly layering the alcohol on top of the water. And you will see a thin meniscus forming between the alcohol and the water. Much like oil and water remain separate. And I can tell you right about now it takes some time for the DNA to collect in the alcohol. But before long you should see a white 
springy substance floating graciously. Oh, so graciously. Suspended, if you will, in the alcohol. This is the basis of any good clone. on for safety and style. There we go. Forming slowly. Now it takes a few minutes. That's what it's supposed to be. But I know what I need. We need a toothpick. I forgot. Every self-respecting scientist must have a popsicle stick. Very important tools. I'm sure those government scientists have something fancy like a steel spatula and a and a tungsten super pick. But I'm a mad scientist. I'm still not sure what I'm mad about. But I know. Sometimes, when I'm sciencing, I get sleepy. Or, sometimes, when I'm sleeping, I feel sciencing. It's a win-win situation. I can sleep, or I can science. I know it's not a very good Mad scientists are generally incredibly underfunded. I mean, look at this. This isn't even a fancy glass bottle. It's not brown. I don't have any corks. For crying out loud, I'm using a brick as a test tube stand. Call now. Donate a buck. This 